Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand Smith Trigger. We will see the application of Smith Trigger and why do we need Smith Trigger circuit, right? We will also understand what is feedback fraction beta, how do we calculate the feedback fraction beta, what is the use of VUTP upper trip point and uh, how do we calculate upper trip point and what is the use of uh, lower trip point and how do we calculate the lower trip point what is the hysteresis and how do we calculate the hysteresis right so we will also understand uh, the positive feedback concept here how open can be used as a positive feedback right so uh, this all things we will understand then after that we will run the simulation and we will see the behavior of Smith trigger. We will see the output waveform. We will see the input waveform. We will see the reference signal and we will also see the use of upper trip point and lower trip point in simulations. So this is the Smith trigger circuit you can see here a operational amplifier is connected with the positive feedback here this is the positive feedback we will understand the role of positive feedback since your input signal is connected at inverting terminal that is why it is called inverting type Smith trigger if your input signal is connected to the non-inverting terminal so that is called non-inverting type Smith trigger. So I will discuss inverting type Smith trigger, right? Your reference signal is connected at non-inverting terminal. So this is the pictorial representation of Smith trigger, right? So this is VOH output high. This is the VOL that output low. This is the upper trip point. This is the lower trip point. So we have already seen the working of negative comparator or the working of inverting type comparator. We have already seen the working of positive comparator or the working of non-inverting type comparator in my previous video. So in negative type comparator, if your input signal is less than your reference signal, your output is high. And if your input signal is greater than the reference signal, your output would be low. But you can see here between this window from here to here, there is a hysteresis, there is a hysteresis, and your op output of output of your comparator will hold a certain state, right? So it will if it is high, it will hold that same state, and if it is low, it will hold the same state. All right or why do we need smith trigger right so uh, let us assume in any case you have a noisy environment and your input signal is noisy so this is the reference signal this is the input signal this is the input signal and this is the upper trip point and this is the lower trip point you have a hysteresis between upper trip point and lower trip point if your signal fluctuate between this area it will hold a certain state so so if your analog signal is very noisy in that case you need to come you need to have a comparator with a hysteresis so now we will run the simulation and we will see the behavior of input signal we will see the behavior of reference signal and we will see the behavior of output signal before i start before i run the simulation let us understand what is feedback fraction the feedback fraction beta equals to r1 divided by r1 plus r4 this is the r1 10k divided by r1 plus r4 10k plus 90k so you will get 0.1 volt and now I will calculate 
voltage of upper trip point that if that is equals to beta into vcc since your vcc is 12 volt so 0.1 beta into 12 volt you will get 1.2 volt lower trip point is equals to beta into minus vcc in our case minus vcc is 0 volt so 0.1 into 0 volt you will get 0 volt if you want to calculate the hysteresis which is equals to v utp minus v ltp right this is the v ltp so 1.2 minus 0 volt you will get 1.2 volt that means your hysteresis is 0.6 volt above your reference signal and 0.6 volt below your reference signal so before i run the simulation let us revise the negative about negative comparator so in negative comparator if input signal is less than v reference your output equals to 12 volt that means your your comparator will saturate towards positive saturation and if your input signal is greater than v reference signal in that case v out equals to 0 volt and your op amp will saturate towards negative saturation right now i will run the simulation so this is the input signal this is the reference signal which is 6 volt and this is the output signal right this is the reference signal let me zoom it so you can see here your reference signal is at 6 volt this is the input signal right so if your input signal is less than your reference signal at that point your output is high this is true but what you can see here since your input signal is crossing here to your reference signal this is the reference signal since your input signal crossing here to your reference signal at that time your output is not coming to low because of that hysteresis of 0.6 volt so you can see here your input signal crosses your reference signal here but but your comparator output is coming low at this point and this is the 6.7 or 6.6 .6 volt here right so now if your input signal is more further increasing now you can see your output is low your output is low and then you can see here again your input signal is crossing again to your reference signal this is the reference signal and again your output signal is not high here because of 0.6 volt hysteresis so here your output signal goes high and this is the 5.3 volt around this is the 5.3 volt so you can see here from here to here there is a some hysteresis so above 0. 6 volt of v reference your output signal hold the same state and below the 0 0.6 volt of your v reference your output hold the same state so hope you understand the concept if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section